Matthew 24 3 And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? Seven for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes, in divers places. Eight all these are the beginning of sorrows. Fifteen when he therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Sixteen then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Seventeen let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Eighteen neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. Twenty-one for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Twenty-two and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened. Twenty-nine immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken, thirty and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. I believe verse 30 this is the final coming after the great tribulation, Jesus coming back to set up his kingdom on earth after the great tribulation. The sun and the moon go dark. A person in the field is taken and can't go back to get his clothes. And one other person is left. Or the rapture of God's people. Then it says there will be great tribulation. And the days are shortened so people don't go through everything. So that people can be saved. So if the great tribulation is not as bad. Which means Jesus comes sooner to shorten the days. The beginning of sorrows leads into the great tribulation of Daniel's first week Daniel 9.27 And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease, and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. The first week is a week one year, year one, so in the midst of it, or five months in time, as he stands in the holy place, as Jesus said the seventy weeks of Daniel, are seventy years of captivity of Israel, so each week represents, a year, Daniel 9 25, the prince shall be seven weeks, and threescore and two weeks, the street shall be built again, and the wall, even in troublous times, so seven weeks is seven years, of tribulation seventy years of captivity each decade is representing year. Or number seven in the midst could be any time in one month to six months or less during. A one year covenant with many not seven years. Building the temple cardinal number, three score. Cardinal number, three score sixty. Right so sixty plus two weeks equals seventy four days. So seven years seventy four days until the sun and the moon go dark, or after that. Could it be? The new Jerusalem is descending. Mark 13, 30 Verily I say unto you, that this generation shall not pass, till all these things be done. Won't pass but are moved when it's fulfilled. What's fulfilled? 31 Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Passing away for that generation being moved away his words this universe, not passing away, being changed. 32 But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. So basically people move, out, things change, made new, the universe is fixed and passes into everything else around it. There, so hell will be moved out this universe and more restored, finally made perfect. People can still come to new places on this universe, but that generation can't go back to the old parts. 
because they are perfected, new, during that time, than some may, and nor will when it's new, so earth as God's word the heavens, universe, everything, will still be here, better. 21 And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Double meanings or refurbished may brand new and every word of God will never pass away. All creation. Isaiah 11 6 The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the fat lamb together, and the little child shall lead them. 7 And the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. 8 And the sucking child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice den. 9 They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. Isaiah 2 2 And it shall come to pass in the last days, that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains, and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. 3 And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. For and he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. Revelation 21 And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. 2 And 1 John saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. 3 And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. 4 And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. 5 And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. 6 And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. 7 He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son.